North Korea was expected to conduct major provocations to mark several key anniversaries in April. We are reaching the end of the month, and so far, the regime, possibly feeling the pressure with even its oldest ally upping some pressure, has remained unusually quiet. But the billion UN question is will China continue to get with the program in terms of reigning in Pyongyang? Connie Kim has an analysis. China has shown a tougher stance on North Korea for its nuclear weapons and missiles following the summit earlier this month between Presidents Trump and Xi. To show it's serious about the issue on day two of that summit, China's customs agency issued an official order telling trading companies to send back shipments of North Korean coal. This month has seen intense scrutiny of the North, which celebrated its late founder Kim Il-sung's birthday and the anniversary of the founding of its army, possible occasions for it to carry out provocations. China's foreign ministry warned North Korea not to take actions that raise tensions on the Korean peninsula, and Beijing's state media threatened that oil supplies to the north could be cut, a brutal blow for Pyongyang, which relies heavily on China for oil. So far, pressure from China and the U.S. seems to be working. Pyongyang did not end up launching missiles or testing a nuclear device on those dates. The Chinese have a lot more room, I think, than they let on. Um, they could go after North Korean money and Chinese banks, for example. Um, this oil embargo that we're seeing right now, again, we, you know, we don't know how serious the Chinese are about it, but it seems to be having an effect. They could restrict air choreo. I mean, there are lots of things they could do. For the U.S., it's important for China to play an active role in putting a stop to North Korea's nuclear weapons development. Outlaw regime. They have uh, built nuclear, a nuclear weapons capability. They've now threatened uh, the west coast of the United States with uh, the possibility that in the future, in just a few years, they might have a nuclear warhead and ballistic missile capable of hitting um, California and Washington and Oregon. But now that those key anniversaries in the regime have passed without provocations, China seems to be moving back towards its original North Korea policy. Air China is resuming flights between Beijing and Pyongyang next month after a three-week suspension. And an editorial by China's state-run Global Times floated the idea of offering carrots in North Korea, claiming sticks alone might not stop the North's nuclear and missile threats. Connie Kim, Arirang News.